Welcome everyone to my studio on this cold December day in Alberta. Not a day to be outside. Anyway, I just did my last bisque fire of the year, so let's look inside and see what's going on. So I'm just trying to get my camera figured out here. There, as long as it doesn't move, we're okay. So my temperature is at 104 degrees and the temperature inside the shop is usually about 72. So we're really a little bit on the warm side, but I really want to get this stuff out of here. So I'm just going to unload this top shelf. I might come back later and do the other ones. They're just ornaments mostly, test tiles. Um, these are just test tiles. I have some more blazes that I want to do. Nothing really spectacular. They're actually not that hot. I can handle them with my hand, so. And then I did some Christmas tree ornaments, little bells. I've got a few of those in here. I've got different little designs on them. Which is why I really want to get this thing unloaded because I've got to glaze all this stuff and fire it before Christmas. So there's just a few more. Now, oh, here's a, I made some coasters. I don't have a round cookie cutter. I had to sort of just draw a circle and cut them out. They didn't come out really perfectly in a circle, but that's okay. They're just for me, so those have got to get glazed too. And there's a little spoon rest I did. I'm just going to move this over onto the shelf. These are um, little... Uh, herb sticks or flower sticks you can put in your garden or your flower pots. Put your name of your plants on it. I'll just put these over here. And this is my first attempt at a French butter dish. Now, <laughs> it's just small because I'm trying to figure out what I was doing, but after I Put it in a kiln, I realized I had not put a lip around the top of this so it would sit on top of this jar. It's going to fall down in it. So <laughs> I guess what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a round piece. Um, let's see here. No, nope, that's too small. Maybe the size of the coaster. Um, that's really too big. A little smaller than that. And once they're all glazed, then I will just glue the top to this piece. And then I will have a little lip on the top for it to sit on. Next time I make it, I'll try to remember to do it right. So, and couple of little heart-shaped necklaces. Now this is a plate, hand-built plate. It did warp on me a bit. I think I took it out of the um, mold too quick. But anyway, I'll finish it off and see what happens.
Like I said, I'll just be using it for myself. Now, I don't know. I'm going to try and get this shelf out of here. Oh, it doesn't feel too warm. So, we'll just lift it out of the road and see what's down here. Okay, so this is a little bird feeder I did. Put some little critters on it. Didn't turn out too bad. Um, then I have, oh, these are little texture balls. Um, they will just be this fired. I won't do any more with them, but you can roll them across your clay. It's got different little designs on them. So give you some interesting textures on your clay. They are still, oh damn. Oh, now, I have a little, two bud vases. That one there. And then another smaller one here. Oh, I didn't get that very even there. Whoops. And a little flower pot. And what else do we have? Oh, I tried the salt and pepper shaker. <laughs> second one I made didn't turn out, but I thought I'll fire this one anyway and try to make some more later. So I just put a little cork in there. Now, um, I have another spoon rest here. a platter down here, which I made. I just put a stencil on that. So, so far so good. We'll see how that works when I glaze it. I'm going to a room here on my shelf. Now, oh, and the other ones, I gotta get my stand. This kiln is very deep. And I have to stand up on stuff to get down to the bottom. So these are just some more of those little plant stakes or tags or whatever you wanna call them. So they didn't turn out too bad, I guess. can't see there. I think you can see them now. So that's just some more there. And now I got to try and get this other shelf out of here. This one will be a little bit harder to get out because I got to stand on my stand. Surprisingly, the inside of the kiln is not that hot, even though it said it was 100 degrees. Okay, so wish me luck. These shells are really heavy. I think I'm going to have to invest in some half shells. So I have some old 
holes down here. Oh, this was one I put slip on. I put purple slip on that and then I carved into it. So that probably will just have clear glaze on top of it. Yeah. So that was my first attempt at something like that. And I have, oh, an oak leaf bowl I made. That didn't turn out too bad. So, not really sure yet what I'm going to do when I go to glaze it. I haven't really figured it out for sure. And I have another plate, which is part of these dishes that I'm trying to replicate. This one I did with a flat bottom. So I'll probably just put some different glaze on it so I'll have a variety of choices before I make the final decision what I'm going to do with them. And these are mugs. I'll put them over here closer so I can reach them. There, yeah, just tumblers I did. So I probably may experiment with them and do different glazes or stroke and coat or something on them. We'll see. And then this last piece is a yarn bowl. Um, I think I made this, I made this too big, but I uh, thought, well, I'll fire it anyway and glaze it and see how it turns out. So that's the last piece of the bisque fire. And I won't be doing any more bisque fires until uh, in the new year. So I'm trying to turn my camera around here. Uh, so thanks for watching that's it for now um i hope to do a glaze fire within the next week i hope christmas is coming fast so if i'm gonna do it i better get at it anyway uh take care and we'll see you later bye bye